Hello, hello. Hello. Let's hold on, I need to lose something. So everyone welcome back to another stream. Hello, hello. So Grey Lear, welcome to the stream bro. Thanks for joining. So guys, uh, we will try to create this uh, environment in Unreal Engine today. So, so I, I found this uh, image in Google, okay. So whoever did this? Uh, all credits goes to them. Also, we will try to make this one, and we will create a really, really low poly environment. Okay, with this. So, everyone, thanks for joining the stream. Don't forget to like and share. And let's do this. Okay, I'm gonna move this image here. Okay, we'll create a real, uh, real low poly assets. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna start with the box. Play this material. Okay, this. And we will convert this into a double poly and add two segments. Split it. Okay, so we can extrude these two sides like this. Okay, maybe you should change the size. Okay. Maybe you should increase the hold on, hold on. Okay, this will be our bridge. Okay, see this one. Okay. This one. Okay, this one, this side. Okay, so first bridge and I'm going to save this one. And apply a different color for this material. Okay. Now we need to create some pillars. I'm gonna create a box. Shit. 
uh, apply the same material we will be using the same texture for all of our assets uh, in this environment okay to the same color uh, this so uh, pillar maybe you should increase the size sorry height uh, change this width and length little bit okay so pillar here so I need to duplicate this pillar and we will convert this one to a table poly and add one segment around here so we can extrude this edge to inside like this okay and one more segment in here and here and I'm going to extrude the, these two again Okay, so another pillar. And we will create the stairs. I'm going to isolate this one and go to the top view and we have this stairs i'm gonna use the uh, straight one and toggle this snap toggle option and start from here to here okay then change the pivot and rotate it okay here we can change the height it and we need to rotate one more time and change the type to a box on you see like this and increase the width okay and just place it here for now we can okay I'm gonna increase the length a little bit like this and this tear count to 14 maybe 15 sorry. okay we'll be placing this camera exactly like this okay for like a we like being from the top so i think we need to increase the size of these two meshes 
what this means actually maybe this means Okay, our stair is ready. Uh, so I'm going to save a copy again. Once we finish all this, we'll untap the UV. Okay. Actually, you don't need to untap the UV. You can just export the, all these meshes. Okay, and we will try to untap the UV. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to create a Floor I think we need to increase the height a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna isolate this staircase. Then we will create a floor. Go to the top view. Scissor, welcome to the string. Okay, we need to create a box or plane. Okay, it's your choice. I think I will create a box, okay. Change it to standard properties and box. Then we'll create one small compared to the stair. Things enough. Hold on, I need to check something. Wait. Okay, then we need to increase the Stair count to twenty, maybe. Okay, we will convert this, move this to the side first, then convert this box to a double plate. You need to uh, reduce the height. Okay. And I'm going to use this refer bricks and change to count. Nothing happens. And reduce this length. Maybe two. Okay, I think this is enough. Uh, then convert to, sorry collapse everything then convert to vegetable poly again so we'll have this floor and i'm going to delete this one 
Here we can change the size. Then go to the front view, delete the bricks. I mean this one. And we can increase the size of these bricks like this. Okay, this will be our flow. And I'm gonna save a copy. Here we need to uh change for this floor a little bit so i'm gonna press ctrl a and use this chamfer okay uh without this segment Um, should be fine and to check with this high quality so so guys this will be our floor okay okay here we will place all of our few of these pillars not here actually we need to create one more <coughs> staircase like this one okay i'm gonna duplicate this one and mirror to okay, not to x and change the geometry collapse to and convert to triple poly then increase the size a little bit Okay. okay. <clears throat> Here we need to select this face and extrude it, or we can just create another mesh uh, to this box start from here to here like this change the material place it here and we need to increase the height a little bit okay Then convert to vertebral poly and select these two vertex, then move it down. Okay. Maybe you should uh, move this whole face down a little bit like this and select this face extrude a little bit to the back side okay 
and I'm going to copy this mesh to the other side so guys uh, we are creating low poly meshes okay so I'm going to attach these two then increase the length little bit here Okay, we need to duplicate this one of this mesh. Great, uh, that's an object. Okay, so we can place in this staircase, rotate the sun. Then change the size a little bit. Then duplicate to the other side. Okay, now save the copy again, then duplicate this same mesh, sorry, staircase. Okay, we need to copy, select, sorry, select all this, then duplicate and rotate so we can. Place on small stair around here. Okay. Actually, this one should be a small. Like we need to reduce the width. Okay. Maybe you should just move it to the top a little bit. Okay, same we need to duplicate this same staircase to the other side I mean here okay we anyway we will do it in and then we don't need to do that here okay now need to create a couple of other meshes to place it here I am going to the top view again and create a box like this. okay can actually place particles uh, instead of real engine I mean flame fire something like that Okay, here we need to increase the height and convert to editable poly and I'm going to select this face, insert it. Then extrude inside. Okay, like I said, we can place particles in here uh, for like a fire or smoke or something like that okay if 
okay we don't need to duplicate this one we can just duplicate these measures inside and read engine so <coughs> Okay, now we need to create uh, this area I mean we actually created this much so we need to create the rest of the parts okay all right we have two options we can just create a whole mesh within one or we can just go for this modular way okay I think we can create a whole single mesh right we go to the top view and same we'll create a plane or box thing box is fine oh, wait i'm gonna create a line okay we'll start from here to here okay just draw a rectangle to this line it's not actually a straight one we need to delete this one right Okay. And we'll convert this uh, spline to editable poly. So we'll have this plane and apply this material. Now we can uh, use this border to extrude down. okay then cap it to close this one and hold on wait and going back okay we need this line i'm going to duplicate this one and convert this one again to editable poly and apply this material and extrude it down then cap it okay here i'm gonna move this spline down and select this segment then divide with two more vertex We just move these two vertex to these edges then delete this segment okay now now i will go to the top view again and create a couple of box meshes Okay, and apply this material and convert this box to a triple poly. 
and add on segment in here select all those faces and extrude it extrude to local normal okay Okay, I'm going to save a copy again. Okay, Lalu HRG, welcome to the stream. Ashlan, welcome to the stream. Hi, bro, everyone, welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. So, next we need to We will okay. We need to replicate this line again just for a backup. Okay, and we will convert. Sorry, select this plane. Sorry, is plane and enable this in viewport and this size. and apply this material again okay i think we should go for for a ready loan and this the size And we need to move this here and increase the height of this mesh like this. okay save it now we need to split this plane okay select this uh, segment then again divide here also and here okay so we can Delete few segments from all these. Okay, I'm going to select this one again and divide it also. and delete this one. Yeah, if I'm to free. Okay, it's fine, right? I think we need to increase the size. I mean the length a little bit here. Okay. 
I'm gonna save this one. Then we'll create one more spline. Okay, I think we can use this one. Just reduce the size. Okay, then place it in the center. And what if I move this here? And this one. You can build this one, right? Uh, come here. Increase the amount and build. Okay. And I'm going to place this one in the center. And increase the size. Uh, SP Alcant to stream as a Don Chick Alcant to the stream. National Alcant to stream. SN. SN Alcant to stream. Yes, bro. I'm India. From India. Sina. Steve, welcome to the stream. How long you have been using Unreal Engine? Maybe it's almost six or seven years, bro. Don Chick. Did you use it? So, okay, then convert <coughs> uh, this one to editable poly. Okay, so we'll have this plane and apply this material. Or we can add a new one. Light, sorry, a gray, maybe. Okay, then we am not editable poly. And we can extrude this down. And insert this this side. And select these corners, then extrude it a little bit. we should move this down okay here we need to create another box. I'm going to the top view again. It maybe should increase the size around here. Okay, then we'll create another box in the center. Wait, it not actually a box. <coughs> we need this staircase. I'm going to duplicate this one, okay, then move it to the top and rotate, the size little bit, okay. Uh, and reduce this tear count to tall maybe and increase the overall height
okay and convert wait and duplicate this one just for a backup and convert this one to a double poly and extrude this side and move it here and i'm gonna copy this mesh one more time like we did earlier and rotate like this okay and move this the text to here and just increase the length okay maybe you should reduce the width okay and duplicate to the other side wait maybe we should uh, We should add more stair. Or we can just use this one, right? Uh, no. Reduce the size like this. Then increase this face. Sorry, move this face and this okay. Random G random gification here is doing. Okay, you now for the statue, I don't have one. Okay, we'll just keep this one uh, like this. Maybe you can use a custom mesh for a statue from the Malaskans. Okay. okay. Now we need to create that small pillars. Okay, this one, these three, sorry, four. Okay, then we will unwrap all the UVs, then export to non-real engine, okay. It's more like a pyramid, right? So here, I'm going to save a copy. And then delete this staircase. And back to the left view, I think. Yes. Okay, I don't need to go to the left view. We'll uh, create a box here. Okay, wait. We'll create on here. and apply this material and convert to the poly and extrude this top face okay then reduce this size from the sides this and add one segment 
here so we can extrude it and change this so remove this shape now okay and I'm gonna add one more segment in here then we will insert this face sorry we need to do one more time and I'm gonna move this edge to inside like this don't ask uh, I don't know the shape okay I'm just following this reference okay I'll do like this and we will extrude this face to the front and select these two texts and this Okay, just create something like this and Okay Okay, you can just place it in here We need to <coughs> change this or shape like this. So we can place these pillars. Okay. Delete on then. For this center, uh, I'm gonna duplicate this pillar, uh, isolate it, and uh, go to the left view, and I'm gonna use this line to create one extra thing, maybe a rectangular shape. Yes. And I will just in report change it to rectangular then this the size and apply this material okay, you need to increase the size right Okay, now select these two vertex and we will use this fillet thing. Not like this actually. Wait, I'm going to convert this into editable poly. 
then we will select these two segments then chamfer it without the segments okay and with the size i mean the height and reduce the size from these sides maybe we should increase this one also or we can just add a symmetry modifier to change the shape to a different one okay collapse everything i want to select this face then Put it to the front. Okay, something like this. Can just make a shape on your own. Okay, see everything. Okay, hold on, we need to duplicate this pathway or sideway or whatever it is. Okay. And I'm going to place it here. Around here. And we need to change the size. Right. Okay. I'm going to change the size. Like this. Eight. Okay, we can place it here. Maybe we should change this height. Okay, we need to reduce this height a little bit. Or, you know what, we can use the same width as this is. Okay, hold on.
Okay, I'm going to increase the size back. Oof. Okay, so okay, we can just cover this place with these fillets. Where is it? Okay, and these two. Wait, wait. It's okay to place like this. All right, we don't need these two borders. You can just use this one. Okay, like I said, we will find a statue later for this this area, okay? And <clears throat> we need to create one more pillar for this shape. I select this one and go to the front view. And do we this one with the two more segments. Then extrude it outside. Okay, mm. wait, I'm going to divide with the other segment, then delete this area, so we can use this one as a pillar. And use this board up to close this gap. And add a few more segments so we can be four. So we can extrude to inside. Okay, this makes something like this, so we can use this shape as a pillar, then duplicate. We can just place it like this uh, in Unreal Engine. So, only one is enough here. Okay, now I think that's it right now. We can start unwrapping the UV. Maybe we need to duplicate this shape. Okay, and I'm gonna select this face and convert the selection to this edge and move it up and reduce the size way to can reduce the size first then create one thing 
it will be I'm going to the top and we'll create a sphere in this center okay then move this up and change the material then I'm gonna reduce these segments to If I or wait, can okay, rotate it and place it here. Okay, so we can place flame so uh, inside it in this shape. Okay, consider this one as a uh, plate or something okay then convert this one to a table poly and duplicate this one and we'll attach this here I'm gonna move this shape to here and change the size okay And we need to add one more thing. Go into the left view. I'm going to create a cylinder or box or wait. box okay let's draw a box here it can create a star then reduce the size I mean the radius and change the size to a small one. Disable this in the port. Okay, just the star so we can place in here. Maybe we should change the size, right? and convert this one to editable poly okay connect all these vertex and weld these two. okay 
so we can move this Or hold on, wait it. I'm gonna select this face and insert. I hope. Okay, fine. And move it, then reduce the size. Okay like this maybe you should move it like this no okay now we can build all this vertex You mean connect all these text together, then build it if you want to. Okay, and we can place this shape in here. It's too small, right? Okay, just create something like this. And I'm going to insert this, this face one more time. Then extrude to inside. So we can add a different material. And here. Okay. Maybe some, maybe some glowing material. And we'll try something. Okay, I think that's it. Now we can start unwrapping all the UVs, then export everything to Unreal Engine. Uh, Michael Industry, Mute Windows, Taylor, Remodeling, Istanbul, Greek, Persian, Indian. It's Ropoli, bro. It's actually Ropoli, okay. Ropoli, maybe some fantasy tumble. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, we will start unwrapping from this one. Okay, since uh, this is just a low poly, so we can just use this flatten mapping. Atario, hello, hello, nice to see you. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. And this some I'm gonna change this material for this face because I don't know we can 
add some glowing thing and add this maybe modifier then select everything mapping pattern mapping Arti, thanks for the photo of the super chat. Hi, hi, I can do stream now. Will now. Okay, select everything, just mat mapping. Okay, just make sure your UV is fine. Okay. Then this pillar convert to a double poly and add this modifier. Select everything and mapping, pattern mapping. Same for this another pillar. Mapping, flatter mapping. I need to save a copy. Okay. Here we need to attach these three meshes, then we will add this UVW modifier. Okay, same. Uh, I think wait. I'm gonna select these two mesh first and flatten mapping. Okay, for the stairs, I think. We have this default UV. I'm not. I'm not sure. Okay, it's fine. Hold on. Maybe we should select this one and use this kit planar map. Nothing rest is fine, right? Okay, so select everything and pack it. Okay, we are not satisfied with this UV. Maybe you should Hold on, wait. Uh, I'm gonna break this face. Now it should be fine. Okay, select everything. Pack it. Okay, this floor. I'm gonna add this under to VW modifier. Then we will flatten mapping. Should be fine, right? Okay. Is this flatten mapping working? Because these are just uh, low poly meshes. Okay. Here, wait, wait. We need to attach all these 
wishes together then then we will unwrap okay first i'm going to select these two then we need to cut these faces okay or okay, it should be fine now okay select everything pack it Nice. If you have uh, some highly detailed mesh or something, don't do this. I mean, this flatten mapping. Okay, we need to wrap the this UV manually. To attach this, then add this modifier. Okay, then pack it. Uh huh. Okay, just use this flatten mapping. Okay, here maybe we need to. Okay, I'm gonna select all these faces. Then use this cylindrical projection in y direction. Then relax it, okay. It's still showing this stretched UV, so uh, we need to scale. Like this, okay. Then select everything. And pack it. Okay. Okay, everything is done. Now this floor <coughs> here. Uh, We need to create one more thing like I'm gonna increase the size here then add one shift loop extrude it a little bit like this Okay, then select these two edges and extrude it inside. Okay, 
Pirangano. Save it. Then we will unwrap. Okay. Okay, I think it's fine, right? Okay, now this one. Guys, we'll be using simple basic materials inside Unreal Engine, okay? Not the texture, so we don't need to worry about these UVs you can just use this flatten mapping for all these meshes okay, this one. okay for this one we need to Do it manually so I'm gonna control I then keep planner map and start to relax. So it should be fine. Then select everything back it okay. Okay, for this um, I'm going to delete this one and duplicate this shape and this one. And change the size to a small one okay then collapse everything and attach to this one In the floor, you can just use the same technique in this flatten mapping. And the stairs again, I'm gonna attach these two first, then add this modifier. Okay, things fine except this face so select it then click planar map now we can pack everything together okay for this uh builder or this barrier or whatever it is okay to Enable this mapping goods and convert to editable poly. And I'm gonna apply this under a PVW modifier. This actually this one comes with this default UV. So select everything and we need to scale this down. Mm 
and if I back it should be fine it's actually kind of a weird UV as you can see but it should be fine for fine if you are using limb materials ok I am going to keep it like this ok now we need to attach this floor with this This one, look it, one of thing and attach. Okay, here we need to. Place all these meshes so we can export let's say single mesh or wait it we can just export this one as a single mesh then we will arrange everything in the engine okay should be fine okay now this here and drop a bit of blue modifier okay let's check the uv okay we need to flatten mapping okay things fine See, that thing's fine, not, not a single problem, right? For this one, maybe you can duplicate the main mesh, I don't know, we'll try. Okay, you don't need to duplicate the main mesh, okay, it's really fine. Okay, here, uh, okay, this top. So actually, it comes with the default UV. Maybe you should just relax this song a little bit. I should be fine. Okay, then I'm going to attach all these together. Okay, we will keep this one as a separate mesh. Guys, I think that's it. Now we can export everything. Okay. Before that, we need to change all these mesh pivots.
okay this will be more easy if you change all these pivot to around a corner It will be easy for you to place, I mean, design the level. Okay. Now we will export one by one. export export selected and uh, no open folder I call this sm4 one okay this will be our pillar Builder one. Builder two. Make sure it's a uh, FBX, okay? When you export the models. This one will be your stairs one. Okay, I'm gonna call this uh, lamp. Just we can use some particles or something like that. Okay, this will be your pillar three. Okay, floor two. Guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And okay, another stair. Okay, stairs two. The third floor. Or three, right? Yes. Uh, this will be stairs three. Okay, floor four.
Okay, we'll call this uh, statue. Okay. One and another one. Touch it two. Okay, this are lamp to right lamp to us. Okay, final mesh. Uh, um, Okay, I think loading complete. So now we can open the engine. Hey, can you make tutorial of modern military soldier pros, please? Uh, bro. Uh, I am not actually a character designer or character artist, bro. I don't think I can make it. Okay. Post this song. Anyways, we can work on the stream. Thanks for joining. Okay, here I'm going to open this. Old project. And change the default report. I will show you the last. Okay. This was the last project. Now we'll change it to low and we'll create a new level to this basic template and it will create a couple of folders in here we'll call this template open it and create a couple of subfolders maps Okay, meshes. Okay, textures and materials. Okay, mid zone MDC. No, haha, ha, so specific. Also, making tutorial is lot of work, lot of work, a lot of time, lot of. Time. Okay, and we will any other industry import all these meshes. He exported the three, six, nine, twelve, almost fifteen, right? Okay, you can see the size of these meshes here. Okay, I just open then leave it in the everything to default okay make sure you don't create any materials when exporting uh, okay save it and then save this map Okay, once we uh, here we don't need this floor, 
I'm going to delete it. No, it's okay, bro. No, I know. Mid same, I'll kind of stream. You know, bro, don't worry. Okay. Here we need to save this map. In here. But save this one. Tem no. Templar. MTO creation, thanks for the two dollar bro. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for again the stream bro. Okay, here we need to drop and before we begin we need to find this direction light. Change the Intensity to one. The color to some gray, and we need to add this post process volume. To change the exposure. Get the sun. I'm gonna change to one for now. Okay, maybe it's point eight. Nice. Okay. And to check the picture. Okay, I'm gonna duplicate this mesh, hold on alt and delete it, okay. Before we begin, we need to toggle this snap toggle and we'll change this mesh to our stay on, I think, and I'm gonna hold on V to snap this mesh and move up maybe on what okay it's fine right you can just keep it like this Okay, here we will duplicate the stairs and change it to our floor 3, I think. Oh, I don't know. Check. I think this one. The sun. You can see this UV problem here, right? Actually, we need to. Okay, fine. Anyway, we will duplicate this floor and change it to another stage. It will be. This some, I think. Yep. Wait, then welcome to Sri Work. No, bro, no, no, no. I'm a freelancer. Then move it to top.
okay now we will duplicate this tear and change it to our last floor to be this one yes click this button Okay, we need to place it in the center and move it down. And move closer to the stairs like this. Okay, let's press it like this. Okay, save again. I need to save this map. Maybe save this current level as number two. Okay, this for a backup. Wait. Here is Kalara's feature. No, should say it here. I'm going to change this exposure, I think. And this directional light. Okay, now uh, delete this fog first. Okay, we will add a new fog later. Okay, now we need to place these pillars. I'm gonna duplicate this mesh, then change it to Pillar mesh and duplicate a couple of times, okay, maybe three and I'm going to move it down. this okay and save again and select these three pillars then duplicate to the other side or do not to duplicate okay same we need to duplicate these six pillars to the opposite side okay I'm going to delete it wait now uh, we need to to get this one Oh, just maybe two 
Or four pillars. And duplicate this four to here. Okay. <coughs> And save the thing. And we need to duplicate this trace and rotate to the left side or right side. And replace this stair with the second drum is. Place it here. Then change to our floor three. Okay, maybe you should place it like this. Okay, so hold here. I'm going to duplicate this pillar and place it. Okay. Okay, we need to place the statues. This uh, with again six hundred is what the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna drop this pillar. Sorry, statue here. Okay, and duplicate and replace it to another. Okay, save it thing. <coughs> I'm going to copy this eight. Okay, I'm going to copy these two meshes to the opposite side, then transform mirror. Wait, sorry. And zoom mirror away. Okay. Then fade to fade duplicate this mesh.
Okay, you can place it here, right? And one pillar in here. And you can place a lamp. Okay, where is it? Okay, this one. Wait, actually you don't need the pillar. Like here, I can just... Or wait, I'm gonna use this pillar one. Okay, just for, for the support. Say, oh, I need to replicate these two to the opposite side and the this side we want in here also. Okay. <coughs> Okay, we need to place this lamp in here. It Duplicate this lamp and replace with the another pillar. Okay, then look this, so we can duplicate easily. Then duplicate to the opposite side. Okay, now same. I think we need to duplicate this. One in here and one here. And to the opposite side. Okay, here we need to place these lamps. Okay, wait. Uh, save can level as number three. I'm going to place this lamp in here. Or this one. Okay, this one.
okay then just duplicate to all of these corners And one more, sorry, put one more Need to change the size. Okay, I'm going to duplicate this pillar, sorry, staircase. And this again, so we can Okay, uh, duplicate. Like this. Okay, now we'll create some materials, then we will do the rest. So, now go to this material panel, folder. Uh, right click material I'm gonna call this base and save it gaming do welcome to the stream hi bro thanks for joining and open this material okay and hold on three for the color can convert to parameter so we can change color letter with the material instance I want to call this C and connect it to base. And we need a uh, multiply, hold on M. And we define the reference map. maybe this one okay convert to parameter call this r and connect this roughness to a and we need a scalar parameter to adjust this roughness okay we we'll connect this one to b default value 1 Set to roughness and we need a another scalar parameter and we'll change the name to spec for specular and one more multiply maybe default value on okay so I think it's fine maybe you should change the default color to gray and make sure you check this two set option and Okay, 
Okay. Save everything then. It will take a few seconds to save. And right click this material and create questions. Okay, here we can change our color, uh, mm -hmm. roughness map, and just pick and roughness value. That's really going to So everything now we will apply this. This is just a basic material like I said, okay. We are not going to use uh, textures for this environment. So I'm going to open all these meshes then apply our material. You can just directly drop this material here if you want, okay. Okay. okay, we need to create uh, a light material to use in these labs. We'll create a new one for this lamp. Samira, welcome to stream. Hi, thanks for joining. Okay, again, hold a three for the color. Convert to parameter for C and multiply and a scalar parameter. Hold on M. And it's okay. This will be our MCU intensity. And the color. Then connect it to MC color. Okay. Apply. Uh, Okay, now we'll create a material instance. Open it. 
and change the color to a green or okay green one sorry blue one okay then save it then this drop it in here in some random locations okay Uh, gaming character makes please um, no bro I'm not a character artist I don't think I can make one okay now I'm going to add this fork Um, change the density to one and the color to change the height fall off and the start distance Can you speak in the no bro? Can speak actually, but I don't know. Let's Hindi. White color is fine. Yeah, if we turn this off. Okay, I'm gonna add a point light. Yes, a point light somewhere. we need to disable this direction light I think and turn this automatic for more Okay, we are getting there actually. Okay, we need, uh, we need to change this fog density to point four or something. And if I change it, this hinge scalability back to high.
Okay, wait. You need to change few settings. Sorry. Actually, we need to uh, duplicate this mesh. Then change it to our first pillar. Okay. We just need to increase the length of these pillars. And we will be fine. Um, in Institute for Animation, I don't know, bro. Actually, maybe you can find one in Pune. I don't know actually. Mm -hmm. so many pillars okay let's duplicate then change the mesh Okay, I think two more. Okay, wait, wait, we need to play. 
இருக்கு என்ன it's too small right okay fine see we are played in wrong area i think i mean this star anyway wanna change the Fog color to a dark one, okay. Like when the face change the engine scalability to We need to increase the uh, intensity to tone, maybe. Okay, we will duplicate this light on here and change the color to maybe pink. Actually, we need to increase the roughness point. Turn up to black or light gray. Maybe we should add a light yellow color. Okay. 
thing late bro okay this one's fine The medium is fine, right? Okay, you need to find this post process volume and change your settings like uh, this and be depression. Can see right. Maybe you should change. Uh, this engine is elevated to high. Okay, now we need to drop some particles like this fire. We need to change few settings for these particles. Like, I don't know, open this. And here we need to flame. We just need only one flame. I don't need the sparkles. It's just empty. I'm going to turn this back on. Okay, this one. And decrease the sorry, decrease the uh, constant to one. Happen so maybe two. and the lifetime 
one and two max. Initial velocity. Hi everyone, so Rumba, welcome to stream. Okay, free. And check X and Y should eighty V now we can guess the lifetime. One and two is fine. Maybe you should change the initial size to zero uh Maybe constant acceleration. I think it's better now we need to change the color. Then color is fine, right? You can I just change it to yellow, okay? And save it. And find this post process only. Change this global settings, I mean the saturation. And the contrast saturation point one is more two. You see, gas can this. This area, welcome to stream. Thanks for joining. Okay, we need to replicate this frame. And I will duplicate this particle. Okay. Um, save all. Then change the color to 
Yes, boys. Save it and we'll place it in here. Okay. Display some random locations like this. Borsala, work in the stream, um, urban, right? Work in the stream, roll, work in the stream. Nice one for you to like and share. Now we need to find this light. Okay, this one. Nope. This one. I'm going to turn this uh, fog back on. I mean, this volumetry fog. Change the color. And if I change to medium. Okay, it will be like this. Okay, change back to low. Okay, we'll turn this at last. Okay, now uh, I'm going to duplicate this pillar and dupe it so we can place in here. Summit. Uh, group. Group. I'm going to increase the length a little bit so. Groups, look. Then duplicate. Okay, wait. Duplicate all this. Mesh.
and this floor also you just group all these and hold on alt to duplicate in between these pillars I want to try this steam. Okay, we can change the color right. I'm gonna duplicate this one. Open it and color our life and change it to a pink one and replace this. And if I turn this back on,
So guys, I think that's it for this Lopoli Temple. If you want to ask something, you can just comment. Okay. We change this color. Turn. Much smoke, right? Rabbit Bull, good to stream. Thanks for joining. Great Tech Gaming, welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. So then that's it for our local temple, okay? So if you want to ask something, you can just comment. Duplicate this. No, no, don't do that. Um, hello, what is thing for a game? Do you make the topology in this thing? It's just a low poly, bro. We don't need to worry about the topology, okay? Just take a couple of box here and there, and this thing, this is uh, still be good for sorry, enough for a mobile game, you know? Maybe a top view game or 2d game i don't know and better gaming made dreams to become a game developer can you share your roadmap of how to become a there is no roadmap maybe you can check my 
not session profile it's in the link okay or it's in the description can guys can find the sorry find my profile and thanks for the 100 likes guys Yeah, and some ambient dust. I just can't see that. See? Now you can see, right? Yeah, this will be good enough for a mobile version. Sorry, mobile game. Change the was maybe a little bit blue. and change this material color a little bit maybe uh, a white tone So this is more like a uh, stylized version, but it's still not stylized. Okay, just a plain version. What of what we saw in the picture? I mean the reference image. Okay. to cinematic report wait actually we can play in this map we change this mesh Collection to Okay, maybe you should add this one. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, pillar we don't need. Okay, stairs. I hope we can climb the stairs. I don't know. Let me to check.
Mm -hmm. Which I need to save this current level. This current level as stumble or and you will play this is low level ok ok thing everything is fine right ok there is actually a gap we saw just a plain materials we didn't add a uh, even a normal map anyway there is something wrong with this star mesh See, I can climb through this. I need to change the collision so we can climb more fast. Like this. So guys, again everyone thanks for joining the stream. Thanks for the support. If you want to ask something, you can just comment. This is uh, in high setting. I need to change this for point four. So everyone again, thanks for joining the stream, thanks for support, today welcome to the stream, where are you, sorry, where we are, sorry, where are you, Leon? we can actually learn yourself, uh, it's not hard to learn this uh, Unreal Engine, I will say you, uh, you should try it, uh, one of their free asset, I mean, you can find free projects uh, from this okay epic store okay download it and try the demo map it's so easy to learn like have a good day bro So guys, next stream will be on uh, Monday. Monday, okay. okay. And if you want to see something, you can suggest topic for a stream. You know, actually, we can apply. Uh, Mm 
this well, I don't remember the full form okay, I think light utility table something like that we can use this color table in this post process volume settings it will be in this misc I think Okay, I'm gonna try different uh, uses. Maybe you should change the intensity. Okay, we'll try this one. What if I use this one? Warm, strong, amper. Night dark. Okay. Night blue. Matrix green. I don't think any of this. I mean, if you this sex guy idiot. The fuck. What about some content if you wish? What? Mm, I don't understand what is that? Warhammer, okay. I don't even play that game. I know, right? Maybe you can suggest some environment radius or a model radius, I don't know. Okay, maybe you should. Reduce the amount, okay, and change to medium or height. Okay, anyway, it's not matching with our current situation or environment. So guys, uh, again, thanks for joining the stream, everyone. Or Hammer 40k, maybe a border gun or pistol, pistol. Actually, we made already. Okay, maybe I will try something, okay. So guys, uh, next stream will be on Monday. And again, thanks for joining the stream. Thanks for the support and thanks for the likes. And we will see you soon, guys. Bye bye. Take care.